Recently, of course, we had the reveal of the NES Mini, or the very lengthy name of the NES Classic Edition. Which, of course, is pretty much a mini NES with 30 games that are built in, and I've discussed all this in a video before, so if you somehow miss it, which I really doubt, you can find it on this channel. Now, there was a French-language radio show who hosted an interview with Julie Gagnon, who is the communications manager at Nintendo of Canada. Now, she discussed a few things, including who exactly Nintendo are targeting with the NES Classic Edition, and she also revealed some features that we didn't previously know about, including different display modes, in such as Pixel Perfect. Now, just FYI, this was translated by NintendoEverything.com, and they have said that it is not a word for translation, it is a mix of direct quotes and paraphrasing, so just keep that in mind. For anyone who is a French speaker listening, I will include a link to the actual interview in the description below so you can give it a listen for yourself if you so desire. And she said, quote, What is interesting is that we can play through HDMI but there will be different modes of how we will see the screen. A mode simulating the retro aspect of our old CRT screens, there will be a mode which can be at the resolution of the modern screens in 4x3 format, and a pixel perfect mo mode which will display all the pixels as a square so people can have fun with this too. Yes there'll be permanent save points and instant temporary saves to be able to resume and that's for every single one of the 30 games. We don't have to worry if you don't have a password or restart right at the beginning. Now as I said at the start of the video she also discussed like who exactly they're targeting with this and it should be obvious hey they're targeting people who grew up with Nintendo and perhaps you know want something you know an easy way to revisit those old classics and something cool to have on their shelf as well but I think they're also sort of targeting perhaps people like me who never actually grew up with an NES I played it a couple of times at my cousin's house and that was about it um, I was very much a Sega gal growing up so for me this might actually be a good opportunity to just delve into a slightly more authentic experience and just feel like play it on the actual controller you know even play it in the way it would have been played had I played it when it came out However, Judy said, quote, everyone who has played before, who maybe today wants to play with their children, everyone wants to beat the bad guy, but they couldn't back then. All of the new generations who now marry today and want to understand how he was at the beginning, I really think this can bring everyone together. You know, I don't know about bringing everyone together, that seems a bit far, but it does seem like a cool little thing for not only people who grew up with it, as I said, to go back and remember memories, it's a chance for people like me to, you know, sit down with a more traditional experience and also, you know, say you have children or, you know, young nieces or nephews or something like that, you can be like, you know, here's what I played when I was your age kind of thing and kind of show them like, hey, is, you know, this this is a game that I played when I was a kid. I thought maybe you'd enjoy them, play them together. It doesn't like it could be a cool experience. As I said, I am still a bit disappointed that you can't buy more games on like an SD card or something for the um, mini console. I do feel like that brings its value proposition down significantly, but I'll probably still be getting it because, well, it looks damn cool and it's an easy way to play Nintendo games from back then without faffing around. So, yeah. Love to hear your thoughts as always, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Do remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. It does help out a great deal and is very appreciated. I'll see you next time.